Uh, also, figuring out this chain as, and the chain and sprockets has been quite the ordeal actually because um, the motorcycle I have, it's a Yamaha FZR 400. Um, I believe it's a 90, 1990. I could be wrong on that, it might be an 89. But uh, yeah, it was one of the first uh, motorcycles ever imported into the imported into North America with a um, aluminum box frame. So it's it's really light. Thing weighs nothing. But um, it came with a, f a 428 chain stock. So that sprocket on the rear you see there is a for a 428 chain, which is um, awesome because it's you know it's not very it's a 55 two sprocket you see right there, and because a 428 chain has a half inch pitch, um, the sprocket is still pretty small and light. So that, that's, so that's the nice thing. So what I'm looking, what I originally wanted to do is I wanted to get a um, custom sprocket for the rear that's uh, for ANSI number 40 chain, which is also half inch pitch. So the sprocket would have ended up being, you know, pretty well the same size. But the problem is that um, a lot of most of the companies I've talked to will only make it in um, a 420 sprocket, which um, is exactly the same as an ANSI number 40, but it's thinner, so it's weaker. So that's not what I want. And and on top of that, they'll only make it in aluminum. So uh, that's also not what I want. I want a steel sprocket. I don't want some aluminum thing with teeth that will just shear off. So especially if it's thinner and it's a, if it's a 420 it might just shear the teeth off I, I, it probably it's just gonna be a lot weaker so I really would like a steel sprocket and I would like it to actually be for an ANSI number 40 chain so yeah I was trying to figure out that for quite a while and um, that kind of failed so I moved on to trying to get a um, sprocket that would fit the motor shaft but would also fit a 428 chain because then I could just use the stock steel sprocket because heck you can buy those uh, anywhere for like pretty reasonable price and I can just use the stock 428 chain and everything and, and that would be awesome so I finally found a sprocket that will fit um, a 428 chain um, and it's called a 08B it's a it's a metric sprocket. It's a British it's an uh, ISO British standard sprocket. So, uh, but the only problem with those is that um, they only they only stock them in um, a plain bore sprocket. So they're not finished. So you need to uh, get the sprocket to, uh, drilled to the finished diameter for the shaft, and then you need to get the keyway. Uh, cut into it for the uh, for the key so um, that right there so in order to do that I found out just for one little puny sprocket like this is basically like 80 bucks so that really sucks because the the ANSI sprockets you I could literally get one of these sprockets for about five dollars so I could get a whole bunch of these for the price of just one of the other custom machined ones which kind of sucks so um, yeah that's kind of the dilemma I'm facing right now so I, I was thinking of doing that but then the thing is if I got the gear ratio wrong then I'd basically have to fork out another 80 bucks to get it right so I, I really didn't want to do that either so yeah but I think I finally found a solution uh, just yesterday um, I found this uh, sprocket online that's for, um, I think it's originally intended for a go-kart, but it's, it just so happens to be um, steel, and it's a 60-tooth um, number 40 ANSI sprocket, and it just so happens to have a bolt pattern that's virtually identical to what I have here. It's, just, it's slightly different. The bolts are, the bolt holes are just a tiny bit closer in, but I can just drill them slightly bigger and it'll fit perfect. So I think I'm going to go that route because um, that sprocket is readily available. And then I can get an ANSI number 40 chain. And then I can get just a whole bunch of cheap ANSI sprockets for the, for the motor there. So uh, I think that's the route I'm going to go in the end. And 
yeah, it's been kind of an ordeal figuring this all out, but I think I finally got it figured out. So, uh, yeah, I'll be able to get a new rear and a whole bunch of front sprockets of different teeth values. So I can I can adjust the ratio however however I want it, and then I can just get a um, anti roller chain. And I, I think to start out with, I'm going to try a non O ring chain. I've tried um, I've driven motorcycles my whole life and. Uh, most of the bikes I've, I've ridden um, have had O-ring chains on them, of course. But uh, I have ridden a few with uh, non-O-ring chains. And they definitely seem to have uh, less drag. So, uh, And uh, as well, I'm pretty, um, what do you call it, uh, consistent with oiling the chain. So uh, I think I'm going to give a non-O-ring chain a go to start with. And then if I don't like it, I can always change over to an O-ring chain later on. But... Uh, yeah, so that's that's what I'm uh, going for right now, and I think that'll work out.